Christy Lusat reporting live from Hong Kong as a territory enters nine consecutive weeks of anti-government protests. And this has been a huge day of citywide strike action, of rallies like the rally that you're seeing behind me at the Hong Kong International Airport, and clashes between police and protesters, even well before nightfall, clashes between police and protesters involving tear gas in various districts of Hong Kong, residential districts as well as the commercial and administrative district of Admiralty. That is where the Hong Kong Parliament is located. Let me give you the scene of what's happening here. Earlier in the day at the Hong Kong International Airport, there was the strike action. Over 2,300 airport workers took the day off the job, and that turned into travel chaos. Over 100 flights were canceled. It, the situation has stabled somewhat, but a sit-in has emerged with this protest underway. These protesters are saying in English, fully aware that they're on international media, free Hong Kong. They're wearing black t-shirts, which is the color of resistance, the color of the movement, and they're bearing the banners of the protest movement. Embrace our city, fight for democracy, in Chinese, reading against the extradition bill, against extradition to China. They're saying that they're protesting against what they believe is a dysfunctional government. They want to, quote, save Hong Kong from tyranny and also against police brutality. बीजेपी ने इसी संविधान का मर्डर भी किया We have two homicides in Santa Ana, one at the subway, one at the 7-Eleven. We have the two homicides in the apartment complex right behind me, the multiple robberies, and we have two other people that were stabbed. The guy at the Chevron, that nearly lost his nose, and we have the female at the insurance company who fought off the suspect during the robbery. So we have two victims that are stabbed with serious injuries. The male and female are expected to survive. They're in stable condition at a local trauma center. And then we have our four deceased victims. Our suspect currently is at the Garden Grove Police Department being interviewed by our detectives. He's going to be taken to the crime lab, be processed for evidence, and we're going to go from there to find out what his motive was behind there.